Back in the kitchen with Chef Carol. Okay, tonight I'm going to be making for my meal um, some homemade coleslaw. I purchased one small coleslaw. I don't think I'm going to use the whole thing because usually when I cook uh, a whole thing of cabbage like that, it go to waste. So I'm just maybe do half. Depends on it. I chopped up some uh, carrots that I'm going to add to some fresh carrots that I went ahead and chopped up on on my own. Um, don't forget to push that notification button, comment, like, invite your friends to subscribe. I appreciate all my subscribers. My channel's growing slowly but surely, and I appreciate you all. Um, don't forget, mainly is to push the like button. Um, that way I know that people are actually watching my channel. You know, because it seems like I'm just coming on and, like, got a lot of subscribers, but there's not enough likes to see that they're actually watching my channel. So, I encourage everyone to just push that like button and uh, push that notification button so my videos, when they do come out, um, you'll see them. If you have any ideas or what you want me to, well, I'm just cooking my meals, but if you would like for me to cook something... Just to see you how I make it, uh, just comment um, on the video and I'll do that for you. Okay, let's get started with my coleslaw. Homemade coleslaw. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to chop down my coleslaw. My cabbage, actually. I'm going to chop that down real good. And get started with that. So I'm just going to take this outer layer off. I washed it down already. But I'm going to take the outer layer off. And I'm just going to cut it in half. Okay, I think I'll just use this part here. I think that's all I'm going to need for myself cooking for myself this evening okay so I'm going to go ahead and uh, dice this down real fine I remember going to the store and bought some coleslaw and that stuff was sour I mean I got sick as a dog, so ever since then, I said, I'm not doing that anymore. Even the seafood salad one time I bought, I purchased at the grocery store, and oh, that thing was horrible. Okay, so I'm just going to thinly slice these down. That thin. Okay. I'm just going to take and slice it down again. Okay, I'm going to add this portion to the bowl. Like I said, I'm not making much. Just a small bowl of uh, coleslaw here. You don't want it to go to waste. Down some more. Let's chop this down a little better here. Okay, I'm getting all the pieces that look real big just to chop it down. I could add an onion, but I'm not going to do that because that's not the original coleslaw, and that's what I have a taste for. Uh, my seasoning is going to be a little different because I add I add red peppers to mine. I'm just going to take my time and right, so that's a nice size bowl. So I'm not even going to cut anymore. I'm going to use this and the other half for. Uh, make some cabbage. I'll just go ahead and make some cabbage tomorrow.
Just getting all my my big pieces, chopping them down real fine. Okay, I see some more in here. That's good enough. Let's get this chopped down. Okay. Let's see another piece that's big. Okay, so now I'm just going to take and go ahead and make sure, oh, here's a nice chunk there. You want to make sure that all your coleslaw is chopped down real fine. I mean your cabbage, rather. Just chopped down real fine. So there we have it. I mean, I, I can do it sometimes with big, big slices of coleslaw. Doesn't matter. Depends on what you want. So I'm just going to add some carrots, some diced, sliced up carrots. Fresh carrots. This is about a cup, maybe, half a cup. Add that to there. Washed and cleaned off real good. There we go. Just want to make sure they're, they're cut down real fine too as well. We don't want to crunch into no thick carrot. So we just dice that down real fine too. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add my seasoning to it. This is my seasoning. I'm going to add a tablespoon of pepper. Okay, let me go over here and grab my red peppers. I like red peppers in my coleslaw. I use that in my coleslaw. Because as everybody know, I like mine spicy. I like my food hot. I like the taste to mine. Okay, I say about two tablespoons. Yep, I'm still pouring it. That's what's going to give it some flavor. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put in, I got some Duke mayonnaise. So I'm not going to add a lot because I don't want it runny. I don't want no runny uh, coleslaw. I just want some thick, good tasting coleslaw. So I'm just going to put it in as I go. Oop, I think that's enough. Boom, went right down in there. Okay, I'm going to use that. That's maybe two tablespoons right there. So I'm going to add just some, maybe a couple teaspoons of sugar. I'm going to add that in there too. Okay. I'm going to, you know, I don't need no parsley. <laughs> okay, now let me add some... Uh, Vinegar, distilled white vinegar, just a couple dashes of that. Now I'm going to mix it together and see how this, how much mayonnaise, I'm more than mayonnaise I'm going to need to add to the bowl. Summertime and time to get that coleslaw made up. Eat that coleslaw with your dinner, with your meals. We got the 4th of July coming up. Another big dice. I'm going to have to chop that down. I don't want the big pieces in it. When you just see uh, you got some big chunks in there, just take it out and chop it down and add it to it. Easy as peasy. Easy peasy. I got my peppers in there. You can season your coleslaw to your taste. I got my coleslaw in there. I got my uh, red peppers in there. Pepper. A little bit of sugar. Didn't need much. That tiny bit of mayonnaise went a long way. You don't have to put, I don't put a lot in mine. Because as you sit in, in the refrigerator overnight or whatever, you'll have runny uh, mayonnaise all on your coleslaw. I don't want that. 
but we don't want that. So you just mix it together real good. And you got yourself some homemade coleslaw seasoned to your likings. I could have added an onion, but that's not coleslaw for me. I do it sometimes, but not today. I just want some regular classic coleslaw. And there you have it. One, two, three. We got our coleslaw there. Okay, let me dice this up. I don't want to waste it. Let me get that in there. Just mix it in there. I don't want to waste none. Just mix it. There's enough mayonnaise in there to make it work. And just do your flip. I can add more and less seasoning. Mmm. Taste of this is nice and fresh. Not too sweet. Mm-hmm. Not too spicy. Hot. And I have me a nice bowl of coleslaw there. Fresh coleslaw. You cannot beat that. Made by yours truly. Anybody can do it. Mayonnaise. Three main, three easy ingredients. Mayonnaise, vinegar, sugar, season the taste. And you got yourself some coleslaw. So I'll go ahead and make my plating. I just got me some fish sticks today. What is that? Pepper. Uh, some fish sticks today. Bake those. And I'm just going to add some coleslaw to it. Let me get my fork here. Use my spoon. Let me use my spoon here. And uh, just drizzle it on the plate. Got yourself some coleslaw. Good old coleslaw. Doesn't take much at all. Nice refreshing meal. You can't beat that. Homemade coleslaw. Made by yours truly. In the kitchen with Chef Carol. God bless you. Uh, as I said, in the summer's coming up. We want to be eating light. And we want to eat some nice, uh, refreshing sides. Uh, oh, my. Ain't that something? That just fell on me. Oh, well. Videos go wrong all the time. But, uh, yeah. I made myself some good old homemade coleslaw. I'm going to eat today. And I'm going to enjoy my meal this evening and sit back and watch me some movies and relax. I have to fix my plant there. My plant fell out the window. I don't know what, I don't know what happened there, but that was weird. But, uh, I'm still going to put the video up. And I'm not drinking. This is... Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. I don't drink anymore. God delivering me for 40 years of drug and alcohol. I've been in so much different things going on here. Uh, the devil's trying to steal my joy, but it's not happening. I'm not allowing that to happen. I'm just going to sit back and pray and ask God to um, take the wheel. <laughs> That's all I can say is God's going to take the wheel. But uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. God bless you all. Keep me in your prayers. Uh, every time I try to do something, move forward, something always try to snatch me back, but that's not happening. Uh, through prayer and faith, I'm going to make it. Uh, I'm not like going to let anyone say things that's going to have me, you know, get mad and uh, do things that I used to. I'm just going to stick with it and deal with it as the day goes. Sit back and eat my meals and enjoy life. And King doesn't get any better than that. But yes, I'm finished my homemade coleslaw, guys. God bless you. 
Yes, I'm about to ready to go eat. I'm going to watch my movies. My day is complete. Um, I just ask you guys to continue to keep me in your prayers. As I pray for you, keep my children and my grandchildren. Just throw a prayer out for uh, me and my children and my grandchildren that, you know, healing uh, continues to grow or healing. We're in the healing process and... Uh, I thank God for my children because if it wasn't for them, I don't think I would have made it through God's strength. I wouldn't have made it through those trials and tribulations of drug and alcohol and homelessness that I've been through. But God bless, I made it through it. You know what I'm saying? And you know how when you know when you're doing the right thing, the devil tries to come and steal and kill and destroy and he'll attack your kids. But um, I'll be doggone, it's not going to happen. I'm going to stay strong and I'm going to stay prayed up and put my armor on in the morning. You know, and um, without without God, I don't think I would have been able to make it. But uh, yes, I I I really appreciate you know all the love from my Facebook channel, uh, my YouTube channel as well, or for all the subscribers and all the comments that I uh, have been getting. You know, um, I really appreciate the love from you guys. But uh, just, as I said, keep me in your prayers as I keep you in my prayers. And God bless you. In the Kitchen with Chef Carol.